is your first alert five weather with Alex O'Brien. 618 now on this Tuesday afternoon and we do have that severe thunderstorm watch in place until 9 o'clock. Now again, a lot of the activity has not covered this entire watch area, but the storms that have developed are developing very quickly, quickly dropping intense rain, hail and then dissipating after that. So this was a view of a severe worn thunderstorm in eastern El Paso County over um, Highway 94 earlier this afternoon. That disappeared pretty quickly. Now we are watching the main activity from Los Animas County through Baca County and now tracking a storm in Bent County. But the first severe thunderstorm warning I want to go over is the one that's impacting Springfield. Now you have probably dodged a good bullet here. The main core of this storm has died down a bit and it is north of town. Uh, this storm is going to outrun that warning. It will likely expire as this is not pulsing back up. I'll keep you updated if that does get reissued. A couple more thunderstorms forming around Trinidad and just to the east of town. And we have a newly developed storm south of Highway 50 in Bent County. That is intensifying pretty quickly, has a lot of lightning, so we'll keep an eye on that one as well. In Colorado Springs, a little pocket of rain has developed on the north side of town. Air Force Academy likely seeing some rainfall right now. The big doozy is here near I-70. These storms have really produced a lot of rainfall, uh, ping pong ball sized hail and flooding rains. So these storms are slowly pushing south. They're kind of creating their own environment. We'll continue to watch them die off through the evening. I don't think we'll see high impacts from those in our viewing area. It's 85 degrees in the springs right now. We have clouds in place, so we could see some light sprinkles as you're heading out here in the next hour or so. Pueblo right now is hot, still at 90 degrees, but we do have some clouds around, but we are dry so far. Trinidad has been in and out of sunshine and clouds, 79 degrees with some showers in the region. Now tonight, most of this activity will continue to decrease until about 10, 11 o'clock. We'll wake up tomorrow in the 60s with sunshine. And then by tomorrow, we've continually tracked the potential for thunderstorms on Wednesday afternoon, but that is decreasing a bit. We're not holding on to our humidity as well as we would have liked to. So we're trending a bit drier and more isolated with the storms tomorrow. But by four o'clock and we were seeing a lot of activity starting to develop in El Paso County that continues to push to the east. Still more strong storms north of Lyman by tomorrow afternoon. We could see another round over Colorado Springs and potentially for Pueblo into the later portions of the evening that could get potentially strong as these storms go into the eastern plains and line out. So there is that low level risk of severe weather tomorrow, but most of the activity again will be into northeastern Colorado. Today was a rare day where Pueblo and Colorado Springs were the same temperature, a hot 90 degrees, and by tomorrow we'll be dry through the early portions of the day, but we are tracking thunderstorms possible into the afternoon. Then after that, we're on a drying trend and we're on a warming trend. 90s from Thursday onward in the springs and a chance of thunderstorms through Thursday. For Pueblo, impact two storms Wednesday, Thursday. Middle 90s carry us through the weekend. It's going to be a hot and dry weekend around here. Canyon City, impact two storms Wednesday, Thursday. They look a little bit isolated, so I wouldn't count on it each day, but it's possible. Woodland Park 70s and 80s, quite warm through the weekend, and we are still holding on to rain chances the next two days.